Hello, everyone, and welcome to the ECAC Valorant Playoffs. It's the round of 16. It is between U Albany and Wichita State. This is where it all culminates to make your way through that final bracket. Who is going to do it? The boys from New York or the other team that uh, seemingly had lost a map due to player <laughs> issues. We're going to get into that in a little bit, but my name is Carlos Avant, joined by Catinator, and we're about to head over to map two of Bind. Yeah. Map two, as you mentioned, Carlos. So we are going into the middle of the series here in this one. Uh, I'll do that one as we get there. But of course, seeing what the maps are, would have started on Ascent. That one is going to go straight over to Albany. So they have that advantage already. They'll be one on the series. Wichita's map pick up next is going to be Vine. And we'll finish the day on Haven if we get there. Yeah, so a, a bit of a, a mishap in terms of a player arriving. Yeah and not meeting exact requirements to yeah. play that first map. But now things have been resolved. We're going to head over into map two. This is the collegiate classic, except for the fact that we're starting <laughs> in the middle of this series. But, you, you know, it, it, it actually, no, that is the collegiate classic of a player not showing up on time. <laughs> yeah, he had a couple more ranked games under his belt. But uh, honestly, impressed that they somehow pulled that off within 40 minutes, figured out how to get through what is five ranked games. So... I don't know what the strat is there. Bring in a four of your buddies forfeited. Or I don't know what the, what the strat looks like. But either way, <laughs> they've managed to make it happen with what was just eight minutes to spare. So I'm proud of these guys. They've already shown they can come back against some adversity. Now they got to do it on the map. You know, I think both players, are both teams going to be riled up here now after what has happened. But, hey, it's all about what happens in the server. Mm -hmm. Yeah, first they battled against regulations, and now they're going to battle <laughs> against other players. It should be exciting, and when we're looking at the lineup currently, with both Wichita and New Albany, I'm, I'm not seeing anything crazy here, but there is an option for New Albany to go with the Sentinel of Banta on the Killjoy, while they're Wichita opting for that double controller instead. Yeah, the Yuru, I think, Game Changers really gave some prominent showings of what that agent can look like, especially over towards Bind. He just really picked that up and ran with it. So I've seen a lot of almost the meta shift in collegiate to where players actually want to play your consistently. So uh, it's definitely been worked into scrim blocks more. So I think that pick has a lot of value. I know we used to talk about that pick being, oh, this is the troll pick. If you're playing here, you're actually trolling us. But I don't think that's the case anymore. Uh, double controller in terms of Brimstone and Viper has been such a staple to the map that no surprise there. Just so much control of a short. A retake wall is phenomenal as well, going over towards B site. So, of course, that value is going to be there. We'll never lose that. Uh, I do think that you can find extra value if you slot an Omen in instead of the Brim. But hey, uh, if you're happy with your three smokes out the bracer, take what you can get. Yeah, uh, you know, Paranoia can definitely come in clutch for some executes. But I think the map control that comes out with the Brimstone and the zoning capabilities of both that Orbital Strike and the Molotov are mm -hmm. pretty divine, especially when it comes to stopping a, a specific heavy push, whether that's through Hookah or through A Short. But, you know, something I'm interested in your opinion uh, is the Sentinel pick with Bandit over on the Killjoy. How... how useful is that pick i feel like the utility can be limited when you're forced to rotate quite a bit yeah. as we'll find on bind yeah i think the issue is that bind is a lot of poke and prod and a lot of late round executions which does make it super difficult for killjoys as we know that radius you have to be on whatever site your util goes to so i think the cypher pick does tend to trend a bit more but players just on the senti roll more prone to playing killjoys so i think it's just more comfortability in that department awkward push up mid here from both sides of the lanes up b ramp up towards a market as well they found that first pick they've given up all that shower space you albany are able to walk their way to site they have a, a complete roll reversal now sui might be in a little bit of trouble those paint shells ticking down to 42 but it's completely under the control that being a site over for you albany they'll get that spike plant and even an attempt from truman on the flank was thwarted down. Spotted. We're gonna completely play out of this. We're to find the right click. Is Tisa gonna take one off in the meantime? Spencer a trade, and suddenly Suey's walked into what is a 1v3. Has contact, hears noise on both heaven and close triples. Picked up one an instant trade though. Back from D Nuns will give you Albany their first round of the series. Not a bad attempt, but simply 
outnumbered for that one to work out. A definitely interesting look from Wichita State to send so many bodies up through a shore. And I liked yeah. it. it. It looked very fast, but no one was there to meet them. They got so deep into market, and it simply just didn't add up. I guess unlucky is what you could say, considering that the rest of you Albany were positioned over towards shower. So saw that opportunity, realized, oh, wait a minute. Let's just take a free site instead. Yeah, absolutely. And they're going to run it back to Wichita <laughs> immediately. Back up a short. You hear all those footsteps through the brimstone. You'll take Spike away from the default. You'll try to work it back to your team, who yet again is going to be shower. You see Wichita's earlier recognition in this round have already sent the Yuru back to site to try to counter this one. Bandit's caught contact on the back end. Has found the first contact with the second. So recognizing they've anchored a player for at least a moment. And Albany might work to pinch this. I mean, Bandit does have that turret to watch over on Fountains, but the real battle's over on A. And there's been a loss of life and a loss of a, a gun handler. It's courtesy of Skeebs, but through it all, it hasn't worked out exactly how Wichita State wanted. Down a player, but they have some weapons in hand. But the real push is going to head over to B site. Completely split apart of the last two defenders. One from spawn and one from attacker spawn. Yeah, it's going to be awkward. Unless they can work and get the blender operated. We'll see that first look is going to be there on long. So KJ utility in the wake. So you got to work around this turret. You got to smoke to do it. But of course, that'll make noise. So we'll see if they recognize here. From Octagon, I do believe you hear the sound cue. And now the turret's still going to get a shot off. So definitely Bandit will know. Cams has made it into sight. So we'll have an angle. Might even have the angle on this player Octagon if he can swing out far enough. Skeeves on first contact. Will fall. The second peak on its way. We'll finish the job and elbow as well. It's 2 up. Not terrible. Able to take off a few guns from the Albany players, but Bulldogs all recovered. The money's still in the bank for Albany. And now it's time for Wichita to try and really put a solid defense on the table. As you can see, potentially with their posturing, they won't rush up short again. But I'm not ruling anything out yet. <laughs> Yeah, a team that's definitely uh, over the place for sure. Eh? The Shockers for a reason, what can I say? It's so yet again that heavy A default, Spike back in market. I think that's interesting to still default the Spike there when you know the team's been rushing up in that department. Double Satchelin for Sal, gonna pick up the first. Skeebs a trade and the rest of the team on their way out the TP. Tyson will pick up one. Spencer now in a world of hurt and will fall. It's the second pick for the Sky. New Albany, no choice but to head for the hills. They're going B. Not often you'd see a teleporter play that early into the round, find success, but the double TP gave a decent amount of spam bullets, so there would be a trade no matter what. Wichita State had the advantage and took a an unorthodox play, which we've seen every round from them so far. Yeah. But this time it actually worked in their favor. It's a four-person retake. Wichita, of course, going to have a weapons advantage here. You have any managed to plant down. They've got one rifle away thus far. As long as they can just get a Bit of extra econ damage, I'd argue this round's been successful enough for them, and they might do more than that. Bandit's gonna fall. Planted in mid two, but they just have to get there. Head dink for one, snake bite out. No one able to get close to that defusal though. So Bandit has a frag, but Skis will find the last two. 3k for the Brimstone, and Wichita are gonna pick up their first round. Nice work from Wichita. I, you know, wacky play from Albany. Uh -huh. It did have an opportunity with them being sneaky to go all the way through elbow. I liked where it was going, but it simply wasn't planted for a play like that. And just the speed that Wichita came back with, Albany couldn't contend with it. It was their bonus round, and they were able to take some yeah. rifles off of Wichita. So they'll be running with some Bulldogs. Not the best powerhouse that they'd be hoping for. But still, everything's evened up. Only one ultimate on the table. That's for Skeeps. Cam sitting in the snake bite. No choice but back away. This dog is info on at least one. May have saw the raise as well. So info on shower. That's enough to force them completely away. Wichita could play orb here. And that wall gonna help them to do so yeah. if they'd like it. They want more. Does this concern you at all, Carlos? How far Wichita play forward in these defensive rounds? I love it, honestly. Uh, you know, because you're not going to you see this all the time. Really, you shouldn't see this in most cases. Uh huh. But it's a, it's a nice, fresh change of pace. But I'm wondering what the pace will be now that there's been some smoke lines activated. The toxic screen up. 
Ooh. Sal coming through with absolutely nothing, but opens up the space. Truman also from the Octagon able to put in some pressure. No, it's in the cubby by Garden. It's just Truman now all alone. Rakes with some great shots over from Long. Might be able to do a bit more damage, but you've got to worry because Spencer is completely cut off. The second they find this kill, maybe someone will swing around. No! They're free to find those kills. Cams will remove Rakes and Sui to follow it up. But that seemed that Wichita should have won that a little bit more handily considering how the Brimstone was completely on an island. Yeah, Spencer, a lot of confidence to walk out there and find that pick. Usually you're worried about getting pinned down from sight, just full confidence, hoping they find the timing, and they did. But you really got to give the defensive effort up to Tease in there. Sitting on sight, executes on its way, nails the raise in the satchel, gets him out of the sky. A good flash as well to make sure the team's not able to take extra space for Albany and then able to swing out for an additional pick before they finally go down. So a lot of value coming out the sky there to stall that push, give their team a chance to get there to rotate back to the site and never actually give that site control away. Now we can see so far, no one is rushing into attacker territory. Bit of the opposite. I'm... I'm enjoying what we're seeing so far. <laughs> Unfortunately, the shotgun sneak play hasn't right found here. anybody. Wichita holding longer angles than Albany would like them to. Skeebs is the only one playing Overwatch here on top of heaven. No one is taking a look at what's going on in short. Some carolers at the door when it comes to lamps. Fortunately for Wichita, no one home to hear their song, so they're chilling for now. They've got long distance plays here. You know, expecting this team that is on the eco, you don't want to get any cheese your way. Ski's going to find a headshot angle. We'll find the first very exposed right now, and a sheriff will take him down. Bandit on one HP. Simply absurd. But everything is in favor with the Tom. They've got all they need the weapons, Great the movement. utility. Pepper down the interlopers and get them off of your sight. Unfortunately, though, they have an opportunity to go through that TP, make a round over to B. Walk it back. But the usage of those cabbages kind of foil the plot completely. Rakes is going to activate that Viper's Pit. What a bold move yeah. indeed, but they've got the weaponry to make it work out with the shotguns. Low HP bars. Yeah, really relying on these shotguns. To just one hit kill here. And Sal, that low HP bar, the lowest one, going to be down early. Rakes has picked up one, looking to grab that gun. We'll pick it up right in front of Cam's face, but caught through the smoke. Tyson will pick it up. Wichita will find their third round strike. Bold usage of that Viper's pit. Insane. I was not expecting the commitment on such a, a low buy. Not only a low buy, but also low HP, low possibilities. Low percentage of that working out completely. But it felt like Rex wanted to just send it. I'm imagining that we won't be too far away from a second Viper's Pit based on how they've been performing so far. Three more ultimates at the ready and, you know, another buy ready to go for Albany. So I'm not sure if they're feeling too disheartened, too winded off of that commitment. Maybe it's just, hey, let's try it out, see what happens. No, I love a, a confident squad for sure. Speaking of confidence, Wichita going to walk this Orf. thing up. Be long. Everybody here. Bandit full blind. And that's a free pickup for Skeebs. Extra space taken. Cams will grab another. A Spencer's going to fall. Now the issue is Spike was defaulted in spawn. You were hoping to play a patient round here if you're Albany. You got the A site. You got to go all the way back to get this thing. That's going to segment your Viper. Rakes hoping to be... A last ditch effort to stop this push. I mean, d -Nun's unable to fully hold that push down, but heaven is cleared. There's a pinch on the way. Rakes is about to be in a world of hurt this second. That Tyson oh, comes around that flash. corner. They will be shot in the back, but potentially not. Tyson spotted out. A guiding light won't be enough to completely blind Rakes. Here comes a second, but they'll be hop around. There's still a chance, a possibility that Rakes can get away, but it's dashed in a moment. Here's Sal. Potentially a line up and it comes no through. A 1v1 is here. It's up to Cams to stop this madness. Prevent the rays from getting onto site. It's one of the most chaotic rounds. It all culminates here. So how the satchel movement to get to site has no idea. You can tell in the movements where Cams is. This spray though gonna give the info away. This player is indeed short. You can sit here and full plant. You've got a rock at your disposal. 
You're gonna pop. You're gonna try to kill time. And on top Jeez. of it, the drift. Oh, this is gonna be down to the wire. Who wins this round? Still inside of the drift. Paint shell's ready. Potentially used just to stop a defusal. Cam's knows better. Not going to make a commitment. Oh! oh! That's a problem. Could at least secure half. And he'll keep dancing around it. Sal doesn't want to give it up, though. This is just a cat and mouse game. Who will make the commitment? The read comes from Sal. A wall bang shot will continue their lead. Four to two. They almost had it all, but Cam's will keep things under control. Ah, uh, the self-paint shells. All it took to get it half to squanders the advantage that Sal has in that round, being able to jiggle peek, has to peek a little tighter. Good recognition from Cam, just the call out of, he's obviously got a jiggle meet. Let me just spam the corner. I'll get some chip damage from the wall, and then hopefully I can get something to the dome. It does just that. So played smart from both players. Cam just gets the edge in that one. Barely able to take it home. Good usage of the ultimate as well, just to try to keep his opponent on his feet. Also stalls out that rocket timer, make sure he's not a one-shot kill in that situation. First time we're seeing all five players make a commitment toward B. This early into the round. And you can see Cam's return to favor. Back over in market. It's actually two players joined by Sui. Sui Ouch. the first one to fall, and now there's information. Cam shot, now hit with the alarm, but a single shot from them oh. will do him in. Spencer takes the head. Truman's the last one alive to defend this one. You do have help over inside of Hookah. That's coming out from Tyson. Such a stacked defense, but half of it came over from A. Players out the TP. I'm looking to head their way through shower. Ski's gonna back up. We'll pop the ult early here. No one caught by that. He's gonna stall for time. We'll allow for the rotation over. So Viper's in a better spot to have control of short. Tyson taking no, everybody no out way. of shower. Blinds for two. And Bandit able to avenge what they can. Is able to keep spike control. But where do they go from here? Truman yet again to body a player. That's the short player gone. Both players now trying to come out of showers. Solid use of that lockdown. Now it gives free agency for Albany to make their way outside. No one's going to find a shot onto that. Prevent it from being mm -hmm. used. Truman just barely gets away. Sitting inside of lamps. And Skeeves will come to return. Over from short. They have information. One's inside you. Skeeves will return on a main. I think he was spotted, but in this moment, Truman is putting the pinch on. It's all up to Bandit to hold it down, but it simply can't be done. Man, Wichita just shooting a bit sharper in this game right now. And honestly, that's what a lot of these rounds are coming down to. Just who's going to frag and win. I think the five stack from Albany is a good call early in the round of recognizing these players want to take early space. We've seen them walk players down be long as well. Let's get the numbers advantage, fight together. They do just that. And even then, just barely losing the round. It's coming off of what is another mechanical play by Tyson. I say Tyson was big and holding down the B site against what was Albany's full contact. This time, same sort of story. They rotate over. They get their way into shower. It's a TP play from Tyson. Flashes three, able to pick up two before the... Blind finally fades and Bandit's able to trade it back. But the value's already there. These big mechanical plays, these two pieces from Wichita, really holding down this offensive team. Monstrous stub from Tyson. Essentially won them the round to be able to cut down the forces so they don't have a strong post point or really engagement onto the site itself. So we realizing there's a lot of pressure here, but there's four players ready Ooh. to fight on A site. Scabes and Sui sending that message quite clear. Not much left to be able done for the rest of the squad to break through. Perfect companions of that Trailblazer as well as the Roomba. And this is just a massacre. So I'm telling you, these big mechanical plays, they really are just shooting better. So he's able to come through. I mean, it's rare we see rocket frags as well. You really have to be clinical with the ultimate now. And so we able to find that one as well, predicting when those players are going to cross through. AoE damage enough to find a frag. And then it's just key game sense from this team that Roomba obviously doesn't come through that isn't able to spot the brimstone in corner but we all know Roomba range is awkward it's got to be really close it just barely doesn't clear that corner they recognize Tyson sends dog in that gets the info on Spencer so it avoids that death early Wichita checking all the boxes and hitting all the shots except that one I mean perfect timing for me to say that line 
That's how they get you. That's how they get you. That's how they get you. First time up, makes it a uh, debut. Tyson hoping to keep that portal play in play. Only good for one, but still could be considered enough because the information is there. They are making a stronger commitment to A. They'll continue to do so. Truman on the other side of the map, but waiting for the rotation. You also have the backup from Skeebs. But with this operator in the hand of cams, you don't need a major force to defend this site because the operator in and of itself is such a fearsome weapon and finally yep. does hit its target. There. Our cams will nail the second shot. Hold of the paint shells here, the drop now. That's gonna stall plant, no choice but to back away. Kills a little extra time. Defense encroaches ever so closer. This cam's looking for this close off swing. I'm nervous of that one, but the rest of the, the team doing work still on the back of sight. Sweet with one cams is gonna get that look close box. And skis will pick it up as well. Gotta give some love to cool Scoosy Observer in that one. All those picks came just seconds after each other. We still caught them all. Wonderful stuff from Wichita. Only two rounds, let alone, and that's the pistol and the anti-eco to follow everything else completely under their control. Now, there were some great moments from you, Albany, coming down into the 1v1 between Cams as well as Sal. Ultimately, yep. did not go the way of you, Albany, but they are simply in a, a tough position where Wichita, it doesn't seem that they're ever on the back foot. They completely yeah. understand what is going on, and they're willing to make wacky plays like the teleporter from Tyson. They're willing to have that... Operator Yoru, get a little aggressive, take those closer peaks with the op, and three players around Huka ready for this fight. Yeah, I'd say they're never on the back foot, and so much so they put themselves on the front, for front foot consistently in these defensive rounds. They really are willing to take the pressure. They're not afraid of the peaks. Uh, and when you get that sort of confidence under you, it really scares your opponent off, recognizing that these guys aren't afraid to peak us. They feel like they can kind of do whatever they want, and it's up to you, Albany, to have some big plays to reverse that script and that just hasn't quite happened yet for them it's obviously not something we're expecting in this round uh Nico coming through from them we'll see what they can garner but here's all this defensive utility just now getting expended getting denied plant yet again and cams as well to pick up that first frag looking for another out with it shorty yeah. two of them onto a team with an eco when you have everything you need and then bring out the shorty what a what a disrespectful play wow. Sui going in for a, a swing Bandit good for the return. But Truman ultimately dealing out death as the shadow of the operator user. This is a massacre currently for you, Albany. Of course, it was the eco round, so we didn't expect too much to come through. But mm -hmm. it seems that Wichita is just having fun with it at this point. Yeah, without a doubt. All positive KDs right now for this team. Every player proving they've got the ability to frag. And then a couple assists. Uh, here and there as well from players like Tyson, who's not only flashing for themselves, but flashing for their teammates. Uh, everybody getting involved. I mean, we see Truman there in the back half of Lamps able to come through to assist his teammate in addition. That's stuff that uh, I'd say comes from both good synergy with your team, but also just good game sense, recognizing uh, you've got to be there for those trades and is indeed. So really just all the boxes checked. Oh for this team right now. Barely not gonna make contact. You're dead, I'm so sorry. Your teammate left you. The timing of that could yep. not be worse. And that's yep. left out. A, completely gone. You won't have flashes for the rest of this round. D-Nuns doing D-nothing now. <laughs> and this is I smelled it coming, I was so excited. You, you, you need everybody at this point. You need everybody, Cat. And losing someone so critical so early is just a, a gut punch. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, would love to see what those t stats look like after this game. I always would love to see the head-to-head -head between oh. him and D-Nuns. I like the play from Skeeves. Value for the one. Truman looking to trade that, but it's just too many players back on the other end of things. Too much firepower back, so they're able to trade it back. Sui's going to have some value here with this paint shell yet again. They're going to hold it this time around, so Bandit will fall for his troubles. That's what Sal into a precarious 1v3. All the utility in the world. Drift early. Cam's just going to stop for time. Going to try to flash out of this one. Still got the shorty. Does indeed one punch to it. No turn of the flash. And Tyson just toying with him before he finds that final frag. It's nine straight rounds for Wichita State.
wonderful stuff coming out of Wichita. And you can tell just from the utility that they have, util superiority. Everything is working in tandem. The nanoswarms in the paint shells are the worst case, or not nanoswarms, rather. The paint shells as well as the molly and the snake bite over on A site is the bane of Albany's existence. They are never able to get down that spike from the same issue. It's unfortunate they aren't able to find a better position to have that plant, maybe toward triple box, maybe toward showers, but they're never able to have a foothold. And of course, it does start because they lose out on demons earlier in the round. They don't have an opportunity to round showers in the Wichita. They know how to poke and prod and play the most infuriating angles against Albany, and they're not letting up. Not one bit, and I wouldn't be surprised if we have Maybe in like 15 seconds, t goes back into the teleporter. He's like restraining himself here. Really thinking about it. Jump peeking down for long. Nothing spotted. Looking oh. for that rocket. They looked for the pit. Both instantly canceled by none other than Sui. He's looking for more. A with a rocket of his own. He'll find one more for the trouble post-mortem. As he picked up T-Nuns. It's just Bandit left. And a judge will serve his fate. It's every round, post the pistol and anti-eco for Wichita State. Ten in a row before we flip the sides. Madness. Absolute madness that Wichita madness. has taken this combination. You know, it, it could be the the ranked warm-up. <laughs> you think that they were they were allowed to have before this game that might that might be the case. You think so, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We definitely are in a uh, pug style matchup here in this one, to say the very least. It's coming down to mechanics, and Wichita State are mechanically inclined right now. When it comes to their roster, the ranks are slightly higher. So I would say, you know, higher rank since ranked is all about just out aiming. It would be to say you got some aimers on your squad, and they're definitely proving so right now. Rake's trying to send some back. They shoot clone, but no blind. Rakes will find another. A pretty nice camera shot to see it, not gonna lie. Honestly, yeah. The the smooth moves we're having from the observer right now is certainly divine. Rakes good with the right click, might be able to bring in some more heroics, but it's actually bandit off the start. Oh here comes days. Rakes again. Truman has to do the work of a god right now, but that's at least a start. 81 HP, the damage proves they are human. I have the spike. What can they do? Can they face this insurmountable task? I think there's a grand possibility, Cat. I do have to agree. I think there's quite a possibility. First looks coming out of the elbow. Oh, two guns trained on the spot. Who am I going to walk it away? Trying to identify where this third player is. Hold the plant for now. Molly on its way. Sal to get involved. Who am I going to find that first? The back sight, the second. And manages to jump and cross. Repeat. Nades tucked. Boombot turned. That final 1v1. Down to just one shot. And Sal is able to find it. You, Albany, will take both pistols. It had to be this way. If that turned the tables, if we really saw Truman earn an 11th round, it was most certainly over. Now, Albany, they have a chance to bring things back. Maybe they're just pistol peats able to get the first and second round of each half, but this is where they have to shine. Bandit is going to most certainly need to perform on that Sentinel setup, not allowing anyone to make their way onto B. This is what they are here for. If they can't put in the great amount of, of utility work as an offensive killjoy on defense, they have to shine. They have to work with Rakes to shut down every possibility, and we're going to see a potential for that as they double up on Garden again. But Rakes is already down. Fight didn't stop though. TC gonna pick up two of their own. Wichita just keep pushing forward. They gave two rounds for that anti eco. They forced into this one, not wanting to let any more go their way. Asui gonna get involved, have a headshot in a second. There's low HP bars in the back. Truman over the top to find one. Sal oh. spamming what they can. It's the one ding on the ghost, but it's just not enough damage. Tyson will find a third, and Wichita will bring it to 11. And yeah, they bought into that round. They were ready for it. They had those stingers good to go. Not a huge amount of firepower they could bring into this one, but a phantom, a guardian, a stolen judge.
Cams will certainly bring something else to the party. But Albany's gonna run it back. Stingers across the board. They cannot allow, they cannot afford, they can't chance that Wichita State earned this map point. Not after they already have a singular map. They want to end it right here now. They do not want to go to Haven. But Haven it may be, especially after we see how fast Wichita is running it down through short. A team that wastes no time when it comes to in the server matchups. So walk into the judge for D-Nuns. Uh, now sent to the spectator screen. So I will do what they can, waiting for the teammates to come through. A lot of util expended early from Wichita. No plants gone down. Yeah, they don't have to do much. They've got a ranged advantage. They can do what they want. Bandit, though. Stinger will be a heroic effort. They have to continue to clear out you. I mean, there's going to be a judge there. Mm -hmm. Bandit will deny it. Cams falls. Truman has to clear out showers. They know something is up. They know there's going to be oh. someone there. And Spencer hit with a wall bang. Shall fall a 3v3. Viper's pit ready, but we do have Rakes all good, ready to fight. Be a snake bite to potentially have the vulnerability. This could be critical if they jump out right onto it, and they will! A spray down, it's not enough, but it takes down so much HP from Skeebs. He has to retreat inside of Hookah. Sal is there to pick up the kill. Tyson now alone. Phantom in hand, though. Two weak opponents left to contest. Mm -hmm. One left. Bandit falls, and Sal is here to take the reins. I hasn't seen him out of Hookah yet. Never got the peak. Has to have known he went long. Does indeed. Picks it up, no trouble. Sal trying to find the cross. And that'll be match point. Wichita have only dropped one round since the first two. Unfortunate timing there for Sal. Coming out with the melee in hand. Caught with their pants down. Cannot allow that to happen, especially in such a critical juncture. We could see that Wichita State have no intentions of letting Albany get a fourth. They want to go right to map three. They don't care about the differential, how this series started. They just want to end it as quickly as possible and on their terms. Ooh, Sal gonna electrocute the head of Truman and instantly traded though by the opposing Rays. Cavaliers on their way out of shower. Can these players find their way out? Certainly can. Cans will pick up one. Sui another. Still finding the work in the back line. Has picked up two more. The three piece for the Rays. All to a Bucky up close. Spencer gonna find the first. And no one wanting to swing back into this one. Rifle not converted just yet. Last smoke activated. Spencer hope and a dream and a prayer to keep this one alive. Keeson next on contact, just spamming his way through. Now the push forward, rocket on its way, doesn't even need it. We'll find it with the right click. It's 13-3, Wichita State. We'll take map number two. Absolute domination for Wichita. There was virtually no chance for Albany to strike back, especially after how they lost that anti-eco in the second half. It really spelled doom. It spelled defeat. And it shows how strong the Wichita State is, how hungry they are to make it into the quarterfinals. The round of 16 is seeming to be a breeze, at least on map one, I, I mean, or should I say map two. I don't know how Haven's going to go, but based off what we saw here on Bind, Albany has a whole lot of work to do, a whole lot of pep talk, prep talk to do in the meantime. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, a uh, map that definitely goes Wichita's way, it does feel a... Uh... Uh, a bit like ranked uh, playing much more mechanically their team that was playing offense on the defensive side of things we saw three different rounds where they've got three players up a short we see a round where they're sending four up b long uh, just constantly setting up trap cards and stepping forward never uh, uh, letting players walk into their crosshair going straight to them and uh, fantastic utility all the way through uh, that flash coming from the yoru uh, as well as the two flashes coming from their sky having immense value and it's not even just for the team either we saw Tons of opportunities where Tyson is setting themselves up. Uh, the best examples, of course, going to be uh, the 2K that comes from the back of B site that holds that site for them. Uh, and then, of course, as well, that TP play over from B to A where they blind three and shower, take two picks, uh, and are able to just narrowly miss that third after uh, the blind window expires. But obviously, the value is there. It's shut down the entire push. There's no execute out of shower any longer. And from there, it's really just pure control from this team. And players like Sui as well, 4Ks all across the map. So, uh, you know, sometimes uh, you just frag a little better. 
Grandiose plays didn't seem so grand. It looked like run-of-the-mill stuff for Wichita. Let's see if they can keep it up as we head into a quick break before we go to map three of Haven. Don't go anywhere. ECAC Playoffs returns after this. Welcome back to round of 16 for the ECAC playoffs. It's UAlbany versus Wichita State. And Wichita State absolutely decimated UAlbany back on bind. But now it's time for map three, one to one. Haven, is this where the Great Danes make their claim and head over to the quarterfinals? Based off of what we saw on the previous map, and especially from the performance of Tyson over on mm -hmm. Wichita State, it does not feel very likely. Tyson absolutely coming alive with such amazing plays. I mean, how many times are we going to mention that double kill pop flash outside of the TP to ruin a push for A? How many times, Kat? I'm thinking at least two more times this series. At least two more? I mean, A, if we get the suicidal, I'll make sure to bring it up. Uh, I'll keep it in the notebook. Uh, it's got to come up two more times. Uh... Wait, what are we talking about again? What are you, what are you talking about specifically? Actually, uh, the the bad boy play from Tyson coming out. Are, are, are you are you? Okay, only right got to bring it up. Only got to bring it up one more time now. I like that. Hey, okay, good work, Carlos. Thanks for doing that, man. Yeah, uh -huh. fantastic stuff coming out of a util player, man. It's always fantastic when a player can be just as effective with their own util to play off of themselves uh, and as well as their team. Just so much value there. Like the six assists on top of the nineteen eliminations. Uh, we see that value from the rest of their squad uh, as well. It's almost like a full scoreboard diff uh, going in that game. In addition to that, there's no negative KDs to be found. So everybody 
having more kills than they do deaths on that squad. If that's the case, when you're looking at an FPS, no matter the case, obviously, uh, of course, there's there's plants and defusal of the spike. But if you're getting beat uh, in frags and KDs, you're not going to win the game. It's just it's really just simple math at that point. Certainly. And, you know, taking a look at uh, a specific player over on Albany, d the counterpart Sky, certainly had a tough time coming alive in the previous match. We definitely want to see a, a bit of a more cohesive fragging squad from yep. you, U Albany. Are they going to have an even worse time? I believe 12 to th or 13 to 3 in the previous of Bind. Not a yep. scoreline that you want to have going into the final map, potentially the final map of your ECAC run. They got to run it back to truly strike back against Wichita, who are feeling as confident and as ever. But we're jumping into the agent selection. Pretty run-of-the-mill composition from Wichita. I'm imagining a mirror situation if d Nuns is going to flex and hit that omen. Yep, without a doubt. You're on the money. It's interesting, though. Uh, Spencer onto the Sova, uh, leaving that Brimstone, so leaving the controller agent. A race as well, obviously, the flex going over to the breach. So that tells me that Spencer is the one who knows lineups on the team realistically uh as they don't really dif differentiate who their actual controller is going to be they've played three different controllers uh players throughout this series already so see how that fades out for them i also am a firm believer that if we see players who are good with sky util they're almost 20 times better uh, with breach util when it comes to haven it's just easier to use it's point and click you don't have to worry about being left vulnerable while guiding that light you don't have to worry about being vulnerable while doing the trailblazer. It's it's a lot easier when you have the flexibility because you could just send everything out and keep on running. It's it's so much yeah. more free, despite having a bunch of wild animals run free on the map. Interestingly <laughs> enough, as you said about uh, simply knowing lineups, the only prerequisite really for being the Sova player is that you spent more time in, <laughs> in the games. Server. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That really is it, especially uh, in Cleach play. Oh, you know, Linus, okay, you're in. Sui in immediately. Great util to get him in the door, but uh, maybe a couple too many guns on the other end of it. Tyson doing what they can. Can't get the flash out. Dina's going to pick it up. Cams does have value back the other way as they continue this fight. It's just a 1v1 now here close. And it's picked up by Cam, so it works out. Wichita yet again going to send that immediate defensive pressure. Yet again, they find a round off of it. This time, they'll take a pistol. Talk about a perfect read, expecting the majority of the forces from Albany to head over to Seed Long. Not even a chance to breathe, because we also had Cams run it down, I believe, from Garage to put in that pinch. There was no chance for Albany to really react. And now, this is the exact opposite of how they started. It's Wichita State. They've got the advantage. They've got the pistol. You Albany losing their first, uh, their first, first round. Flash into mid for Albany. Walk their way forward. They've got some room here. The contest from both links where Tyson is, is good to pick up the first. Oh, really battening down for those extra shots. Is able to come through. Takes a lot of damage though and just keeps it rolling. Gonna find a third. Drone gonna give the spam for Truman and Skis will take the last. It's flawless as the rest of the artillery comes through its way in mid window. Not a great look, not an auspicious beginning for Albany, but now they have an opportunity. The weapons are in their hands. That was exactly what we expected in the previous. They didn't have much to work with, so Wichita State easily gunning them down. But they won't even offer, only even think, to have an upgrade for this round, this third. But is this going to not be a difference? Is this actually going to, to cause a pain for their defense? I'm not too sure that it'll be any difficulty for them. Hey, Carlos, just remember, two of the three rounds Albany picked up were the first pistol and the Antaiko after just a map ago. That could spell trouble for the squad. And then in terms of it, three of those rounds, two of them were pistol wins. So it's safe to say that the pistol's important for the squad and they weren't able to pick it up. And now... The early frag coming off of what's the bonus for Wichita as well. Another to go with it. Asui has Bandit out in mid. If you think about it, they've never had a chance to play a bonus round. So this might be their time to shine. Oh, it's not feeling that way though. Trapped inside of short. They're forced away from A. Completely rebuked. Having no chance to make it through. Sui, no need to worry about that turret. 
They could do whatever they want. And like a python, Wichita is strangling the length out of Albany, closing off all the angles. Cam's wow. over in C long, but now things have loosened up south. A good kill onto Sui. They open up an avenue. They do. Cam's smart about this one as well. Not going to opt to take contact here. Just will contain the back of C long. Going to have a great angle on the post end of things. Tyson a bit off more than they could chew on the peak, so they'll fall. Still good omen positioning here. Rest of the team going to be on the front of this one. It's really up to where you Albany decide to hold if they do at all. They're going to take the early pressure CT yet again, still winning those fights. Rakes has the first. Scubs in for one. And not only going to get that one, let's just say that. Spencer will find cams early as well. Try to sneak up C long. New Albany going to find their first round when it comes to shutting down the bonus. And this is the beginning of Albany's 10 round run. <laughs> History is repeating itself, but the day has changed. It's night and day. The difference is among us, Catinator. Yeah. It will be a total reversal of fates. Probably. Uh, I don't know. There's one more. There's one more anti-historical element here. It's the Sui operator. That is something. Is that the that wrench? Was not etched into the Aztec stones. <laughs> that was not what we had expected. But despite it being a ripple in. The wave uh -huh. and sea of time, we might have an opportunity for the Danes to swim through the sea of uncertainty. Look, we went back in time, but we may have entered the wrong timeline. We just don't realize. Yeah, what what do you think would happen if you went back in time and gave the caveman an op on it? What do you think? Oh you think man, happen? we'd have food for days. We'd be feasting. That would be the easiest hunter-gatherer tool of all time without a doubt you already gonna look to hunt their way onto the a site so they can gather a couple picks for it they'll push their way forward now truman gonna pick up one trades all across the map right now it's even at just the three it's just truman still on the back of the site players just in the smoke isn't gonna shoot through gonna wait for the teammates the patience paying off thus far is at least here with room and info early shock has found nothing spot the player graffiti finds the frag a third picked up now for the Sova. Space immediately taken back allows for the tap. Nano on the spike. That's going to kill some extra time here. As Bandit thinking about playing forward. It's just five bullets in Truman's weapon. Is that all they need? It sure is. Oh, Spencer unable to make the connection. But even so, a swift trade would be there. Cam's underrated hero with that. Able to send out the paranoia that gave the perfect opportunity. For Truman to pick up the kill onto D-Nuns, releasing the pinch that they had, the hold on the site. A big loss of life, a big loss of money as well. As you, Albany, unable to deny fate, deny time, deny the universe itself, Countinator. And we'll see them back on Sheriffs. And speaking of opportunities, it truly was the wrench in the plan. Didn't even have any involvement in the round, just its presence alone was enough to shift the very nature of the time. And here we are now, you Albany, broken econ, saving into this one. Saul gonna try to see what magic they can cook up in the garage. There's contact here, but it's with a drone. That's info on two players. Truman the first frag. Just can't overstay your welcome if you're the Silva and hasn't done so at all. We'll send a shock bolt, gets Tons of damage in early and steps away cleanly. The op, it's here. Sui takes down a buck for the entire hunter gathering clan over at Wichita <laughs> State. Spike recovered and options explored, but this is a very spread, you Albany. Dinan's here just to check things out, but I imagine if anyone makes their way into decent territory. And it's going to be over for them in a bit. Teeson season has begun. Yep. And it's open season. Rake's last one standing at a 1v5. Got to be careful. One move. You might catch a stray bullet coming through the smoke right now. Bundled up in the corner. Going to swing into it now. And it's Teeson yet again to find the second frag. Holding down the B site. It's a flawless round for Wichita. Nobody falls against the anti -eco. Rifles back on the table for you, Albany. Need to win this one or they're back on the safe. 
now that they realize the opposite hand. I don't think it fired a bullet in the previous or two rounds ago, so they were unaware of its presence. True. See, long always going to be a precarious push, especially if you know they have the op in hand, but Sui is simply a, uh, a gallivanter going all across Haven. They will not be defending. It's going to come up to cams. And I think even without an operator, they are still such a capable player. Use of the smoke, not going to be at the mouth of Long. In fact, it's all about blocking off that entrance into the back of sight. Sal destroying Skeebs and Tyson, but Cams will survive. How long will that be? To be determined, it's Three one seconds. second more. Yep. Good stuff from Albany there. Good util. Clear as a team as well, making sure not taking extra 1v1s after they spotted Cams there back platform, making sure everything's in their control. Dart will miss, so no scans are going to come through for this team. And neither will Truman. Try to step forward on time and try to get behind sight box. Dinan's caught it early. Not left just one. It's the op player. Certainly you're saving that gun, and they are doing just that. Strong possession of Seasight and pushover from Albany. A great change of pace that we'd expect. And it all comes out from Sal being the one to do the dirty work and break into the back site, taking down to removing, entrenching, or detrenching the defenses that Wichita State had. Gonna keep the op, sure, that's fantastic, but what you Albany gets to keep is hope. My concern here is that you Albany have struggled to find options for themselves in a lot of these rounds. Uh, now they finally found value is on this hard contact executes so makes me feel like they're gonna go back to this. And I don't know if that's the most reliable strategy for this team to rely on top of. I'm glad to not see them walk right back to the seaside. My concern was kind of that they were gonna go right back to what worked. And I think that's an easy read for Wichita and I think they've realized that too. So they're back to this slow default, which is technically against what just worked for them, but I think smarter. So it gives them a little extra time. So early default now to head towards C later in the round. But, you know, we'll, we'll see, keep tabs on in here. Yep. Wonderful shot from Cam's doing what they hoped to do in the previous round. But with the lack of force and pressure that's being brought to the table by Albany, they have the opportunity to continue to do as they please. Spencer completely peppered up. Cam's decides to take the paranoia and, and jump through. Maybe something can happen. Paranoia actually hits Cam's instead. It's from d -Nuns. Rakes has to work together in tandem with Bandit to close things out, but it's Skeebs. Rather than Bandit, Stole this round away with a beautiful 4K. Yeah, the start of that round, it looked like we were going to get a much slower default. They kind of bring it right back over to C. And basically, Conde Isaac, even though they did wait a bit of extra time, they threw some default util into mid and then immediately turned it back. And Wichita are able to float a player uh, more calmly there in that round because you recognize, okay, they just played C. There's a chance to come back. If they do, we need the extra help here for quick rotation. Cam's also finding that first peak is huge, kills time, allows him to sit there back flat, uh, and makes the rest of the fights a lot easier. We're still gonna pick it up, and immediately, you Albany gonna bring it right back to see again. They want the smoke again. Sal's blade's gonna find nothing. Awkward, awkward round on its way. Rolling Thunder now in to stall these players in the back of the side. A TP over. Train to trouble, though. That's gonna tag one up with this Rolling Thunder. A second one gonna be picked up by Truman. A Spencer gonna trade one back. Hands of Truman still doing work on the back of the side as you have when he can't quite get through that back line. They're stuck here on sight box. They have no real sight control. And it's just Sal getting spammed. Does right click one. But Cam's immediately gonna have that trade. It's three rounds straight on C, just one of them picked up for the offensive side. What's tough is that Albany can never get settled. Wichita State will not allow it, and it truly comes from Truman out all the way from the back with that Hunter's Fury. It ensured that Albany had to keep strafing around. No opportunities for them to slow down, hold their angles, choose exactly what they want to watch, and clear out the site. Back site with cams is every opportunity they have to get on C, they have to clear out back site. And Cams has made it such a nuisance, such an impossibility to do and take sight effectively. And not to mention the massive amounts of breach utility that we saw scattered across C. It, it, it just became an absolute mess, a, a cluster of utility that allowed no one to know what was happening. And thankfully, our yep. observer brought us out of there. 
Yeah, I think uh, to your point initially, after the first C take that was a success, you said Sal finally broke the back line, gave them the extra space. And that's something they've not been able to find in the last two rounds. They haven't been able to get towards the back of site. They have been able to get the extra control, uh, to cut off cams and back platform, uh, and then shut down CT spawn. So it's just Wichita able to keep peppering in Util with no real trouble. Q Omni just pinched themselves. Skeebs just lined up and took down two. Looking for a third and has that one as well. We're looking for the Econ plant towards B. That's disastrous right now. Sal is able to pierce through and grab one. He's able to sneak away as well, walking out of A-Link. But if you want the spike, if you want hope in this round, you got to go right back into the storm. He's trying to do so now, but uh, it's lightning raining down upon him. TC will pick it up as Wichita State another round converted on their side. Not much expended from Wichita as well as simply taking down an eco round. Had no true threats to it. Sound is able to take one just to pad the stats. Not much else can be done, but there is an opportunity. Lockdown in the hands of Bandit. I believe this was just secured in the previous round. We also have Spencer with the Hunter's Fury. And Dinan is able to get some information with that from the Shadows. I'm, I'm curious to see how that's going to be implemented. We have a consistent rotation of holds. As Tyson, if you were watching the previous rounds of the map, this man would always be on B site and stop anyone from walking through. Now it's a bit more of a, a longer take, longer hold on A with support from Truman. Slow default for the squad. And it's been these slow defaults, kind of just waiting for the Wichita defense to give something up. Not a ton of heavy poke and prod from this offensive team. It's kind of a, uh, let's occupy space, you know, see if they'll look at us. If they'll look at us, great. Maybe we can grab a pick. Otherwise, let's just think about what site we want to go to and then go there. We haven't really seen any offensive util come out early we haven't seen them get any information they're going to run it right back to see this will come off of contact they don't really have info minus cam smokes and maybe the footsteps of him running back i wouldn't imagine he would be so bold as to take this fight but here he is paranoia. cams removes two off the paranoia and walking into almost all five yeah a, a little bit of a Less planned peak from Skeebs, and that's going to result in oh. Dinan's taking two. Teason's here, putting in the pressure in the back line. Always, this is the issue. The back line is never cleared. Rakes removes Camus from play, takes the spike, and is most likely making a mad dash over to A site. There certainly will be an amount of time, but they don't want to risk it. B is the actual play, most likely a link defense or not. 11 bullets. Only one. Uh, to reload into as well. Not, not that it'll matter. This first fight's going to come and go here in just a moment. Does Truman clear close Cubby? Is he recognizing? Didn't recognize. Still adjusted fast enough. Doesn't even take a hit of damage. Nails that 1v1 with no trouble. It's Wichita now up six rounds. You fail. Now, even in moments where it feels that Albany, they can do it. They isolate the 1v1 for the clutch. It's still Wichita. I mean, we've seen this before. We saw it with Sal and I believe Cam's in the previous. Now it was Truman and Rakes. All these opportunities, all these moments where Albany can come through. They can capitalize on the mistakes of Wichita. They aren't able to close it out. And that's the difference maker, being able to find those victories, those ones, those 1v2s in the moments that it counts. And it always counts for Albany. And it always doesn't go their way. We might be looking at a repeat of history of a 10-2 scoreline with Wichita clearly in the lead. Cams on the flank. Nobody, any idea what this omen is cooking. Trigger discipline good enough. That's the spike dropped early. Now you have to hold this space though. And gonna be caught out. This is killing a lot of that lockdown time though. They haven't gone to site. They're having to hold off these extra players. The Sui now gonna be here. Skis is picking up as they try to back away. And suddenly it's just Sal. One player detained. That's gonna give them some extra space to work with. But it's Tyson and Skeebs slowly pincering the press. Skeebs walked away on the awkward timing, but Tyson will be here. He's around the corner. He's caught Sal. And Wichita State, yet another round under the belt. What a mess. What a disaster for Albany. Commitment of the lockdown. That's what we've been waiting for. It's been nine rounds coming for that ultimate. 
hoping that there was an opportunity for them to take that one away. But it's dash before it even activates. What was that? Four of the players gone before the lockdown can finally reach yeah. its conclusion? What a, what a disheartening, disappointing end. But it's not the end. Still a moment. Albany can turn this into a 9-3. And it's a good start with Truman. Removed off the face of this map. The utility coming out of this Sova has been mm -hmm. such a problem, especially with the shock darts. The information, it's all ruined. Mm. But so is Rakes' hopes of being an involved player on this round. Especially drone has info and also has stall potential to give Sal the peek off of a player more than distracted. Zabani, they've gone to the B side right now. are thinking about this A link to A push, but won't go for it. Plant's going to go down A instead. We gotta figure out how to hold this one. They don't seem too sure of where they actually want to put the defensive util right now. Decent with a kill. From where? Spam through I've smoke to no back a sight. What a terrible way to go. Again, Cat, this is their moment. This is where Albany, they have to come through. Bandit with another kill onto Sui. Perhaps this is their time. It's all up to Tyson. He has to break through the front, but it feels that there isn't enough. He has to run it down onto the spike. Will he be able to get it half, I think? He no might way. just commit to this. He might. Thank you. But Spencer will not allow that to happen. Albany will secure their third round, make it at a 9-3. Not a great scoreline, but better than where they were last map. And that's not saying much. The pistol will decide... Essentially, the fate of this map, the fate of the series, and Albany's season in the ECAC. Yeah. Around a 16 exit. Could be around the corner. Really depends on how the sidearms treat this squad. Yeah. One round, the difference in terms of what was last map's half scoreline of 10 2 to now the 9 3. Wichita looking to really put the pressure on early. We know they're a team that plays quick and plays dirty. They're looking to do that yet again, this time over towards that B site. Rare, we see it on the pistol round, certainly do so on the eco. Yeah, it's what they want, and it's what they're going to look to get. Only one contest going to come early on the A link, and already Wichita State have pushed that off. They can get a plant down now already if they want to, but Truman working the spike out of link. They want to take this thing over to A, and they're going to nail for these fights. Nailing their way through. Cam's going to take another. Just need to beat one. It's Sal, who walks right into trouble from Tyson out of sewer. They picked it up. Skeeves has had help on the B site. And he's looking for the last player now in towards mid. Can't find it. Dinun's a trade. More contact on its way. Full flashed. And Tyson will convert the last player. Well, I'll say the sidearms didn't treat him kindly. So you Albany going to look to give Wichita a taste their own medicine by virtue of the force buy. Can't say I blame them. You know, going to work with what they've got here in this one. But the situation is tough to say the very least. Flash early to come in. Sweet to the back of the side. Judge in hand. There's a player right around the corner. That dart going to give the info away. Looking for that backside player now as well. That's why it's so important to shoot dart. Just gave Sui two. Dina's now going to fall. It's a look towards CT. Drone in first. Cam's going to find Ray. Spencer will do what they can on the back line. But it's a 1v4. Just a stinger in hand. Next peak. The next death picked up for you, Albany. Truman has it. It's 11 to 3. Not even a chance to use those stingers. Only when it was very late. Too late to even matter. It feels that Wichita State, they're so skilled at finding kills. Without actually seeing their enemies, the utility and the sprays through the smokes, the information, well, I mean, that all comes from the dart previously. But shooting through the smokes, we've seen cams, we've seen skeeves. Everybody had a piece of the pie when it comes to shooting through the smokes. And it makes a player feel so powerless when they're unable to find those opponents. When they're getting shot through smokes, it feels useless. But speaking of that, being someone who feels completely powerful, Sui jumping backward toward B site. Absolutely ridiculous. And break their way through B site under the control of Wichita State. 
Not a darn thing Albany can do. Whittled it down over to another man who dies with a judge in their face. Wichita State take map and series point 12 to 3. It's going to happen again, Cat. It can't happen again. And this squad is ready to get into a quarterfinals matchup. Everybody else just begun playing throughout the rest of the bracket. This squad ready to get themselves there. Just one more win to do it. They're looking for, as you say, yet again, another 13-3 to do it in this one. A delayed start to the series. But hey, once they got on the server, man, did they look sharp. Early contact. Oh, no clear. Spencer's Judge able to walk away too. A taste of their own medicine. Has broke the nano. One bullet in a dream up close. Does get the reload off. Skeeves on contact and will pick it up. As he tries to get another drum into the shotgun. Rates will pick up one. He's now looking to swing. Nothing found. Skeeves will take another. But he'd need a full ace to shut it out in this round. Skeeves cannot yep. close it out. And there's you, Albany. They've done it again. The, actually, no, that wasn't the bonus round, but it certainly felt like it. Because Wichita State simply glided through that bonus round, not having a care in the world. It's all up to Albany to win eight straight rounds. And if their opponents can do it, certainly they can as well. They'll be going in an uphill climb, without a doubt. Not everyone running with the full shields. What is, what is the game plan? Everybody's stationed around B site. Perhaps they want to play as five, no matter the scenario. Ahead. Dart over the top has seen absolutely nothing on the A site. Utah State, come on over. Nobody's home. Plant will go down on the A site, no trouble. And everything a playoff run, a series ending, it all lays right here on a retake. Right here. What a quick assault. Albany now have everything to prove, everything to lose. But with an opportunity based off of Truman's Hunter's Fury, oh. everything falls apart. Two kills coming out of the ultimate, and Sui closes it out with a triple. What a domination we saw from Wichita State. But at least we say that Albany improved by one round, but that is something. Unfortunately, that's the end of the road for them here in the ECAC playoffs. It will be Wichita State winning 2-1, but essentially a 2-0 if we're talking about broadcasted games. Sure. They'll move on to Cumberland Valorant Varsity over into the quarterfinals. But let's let's talk about Wichita. What a unstoppable team. I, I mean, everybody had something to say and i think skeeves yeah. definitely came alive in terms of defense cams as well never willing to give up back seaside that was such a pain in the back and everything in between for albany they were never able to take seaside simply because of the defensive capabilities of the squad yeah i think we see a lot of collegiate teams play a very chaotic style of valorant uh, but more so that becomes like just a lack of practice from a lot of players uh, in the media, like tier two, having to stay up to date with a lot of those tournaments going on simultaneously with collegiate. There's just not as much time to scrim. I think we see that a lot in programs like Fisher that have so many rosters. Uh, on the other hand, though, I don't think that's chaos because of neglect from Wichita. I think that's chaos because they have created it in that team's culture. Because it feels like in every situation that chaos is very controlled. They know exactly where they would like to be. They know where they want that space to be. Like a lot of those cams flanks, I think, are clinical from that player. They're, they're getting in that space. And even though, yeah, sometimes they die on it because they could be uh, containing the space rather than actually competing for it. I think there's value in that as well. As we see like that Wichita defense on the cams flank is also sending players from site now up to try to distract on addition or the moment that cams falls, everyone turns around offensively. Now that player that was actually holding site, it can swing into the angle safely. So I think the chaos that they've created in their squad and obviously the leadership or, or codependent leadership is almost what's needed to make that work uh, is obviously solid for the team. There's trust in that players are going to have frags. Uh, there's the hope that if somebody does swing into what is 15 people at once, they're somehow going to walk away with the four or five piece in that regard. 
if you've got that sort of trust in your team, if you've got the mechanics to back it up, you look unstoppable, and they certainly did in the series. Yeah, and if we take a closer look at the stat line coming out of camps, 17 assists across two maps. That is commendable. I think it comes through with those paranoia plays. Uh, I'm for sure thinking back to one of the later rounds where Cam sent out that paranoia and and just big dog that said, you know what, I'm gonna look at all <laughs> yeah, five all of five you. down C long. <laughs> And still came out with two kills. That was an absurd thing. And absurdity, it feels like it was a theme when it came to Wichita, but it wasn't yeah. because they were able to back up the, the plays that they had. And if we're going to mention for a final time, a double kill flash outside of the yeah, showers is. teleporter. <laughs> It's things like that that set Wichita apart. It feels that they were technically superior to Albany today and were able to flex those muscles, and we'll see if they can continue to flex those muscles as they head over into the quarterfinals. But that's not going to be well, that is going to be all for today here at Esports U and ECAC. But we have more action tomorrow. We're at 7 p.m. ET. We've got the ECAC Rocket League quarterfinals with Wichita versus College of Staten Island. So this whole program over at Wichita State, they are putting <laughs> in the work. And following that, we've got the Overwatch 2 round of 16. It's going to be Florida International versus Plymouth State. So stick around here at the Esports U channel. And make sure you're checking out all the collegiate action right here. But that'll be it for us tonight. My name is Carlos Devon, joined by... Catinator, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you on the next one.